In a world where dinosaurs reign supreme. Nah, cut the bullshit. In this video, I decided to go solo on a duo server. This has to be the best start I've ever had as a solo, and even though it was a 2v1 in almost every single PvP fight, I still muscled through it. Also, quick announcement, I will be having a server coming out very soon. The wipe is August 16th. I hope you guys will be there. It's brand new owners. They're the best owners I've talked to so far, and they've been so helpful with all this, especially after what happened to my last server. So I hope I see you guys there. But anyway, let's get into the video. I started out with taming my Maywing and then going over to Gen 1 to tame my new spot that I've never claimed before. Oh, it's 1x. I then went over to Fjorder to do the usual farm run and gain a lot of resources. I then went to Crystal Isles to tame myself an anglerfish so that I could farm up silica pearls and black pearls. 250, god damn. 363. I then found a raid on Ab and I decided that I would try to go and raid it even though they're online and let's see what happens. Oh, there's so many of them in here. Okay, I guess. <laughs> Unfortunate. I was lacking in the BP department, so I decided to go over to Lost Island and try to run on some of the drops over there to see if I can get anything lucky. I got it. Uh, oh my god. Not anything good from purple drops. Jesus.
That's huge. Been everything. Terror bird. Four trapped. I then headed back over to Ab as Maywings were a custom spawn and I intended on taming as many as I possibly could. Perfect. Oh. Oh. I did bro have Ellie on him. While on Ab, I also decided to go do the Rockwell boss fight as it was really nerfed and would be really easy to run as a solo. You want to look at this? Look at this. They reached back, took us from the pages of history, and then plucked us oh, Look how, look how nerfed this is, bro. <laughs> 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 I mean, I have a cap shotgun, but still. What the fuck? It's so easy. Go, Rocco, uh, dead. Then I went back over to Crystal Isles to try to tame myself a Giga. Oh, there's Velos out in this bitch. Giga. 145. Two 
two two five three. Come on, give me give me oh, some good. Three. Give me some good. This is gonna be like half decent. Come on, please. Are you, are you with kibble? Yeah, please. One ninety. Uh, that's an ass roll, bro. After taming that Giga, I ended up getting into some PvP on Valgaro with it. Then I went to go run some missions with the same Giga. I had a cap saddle because I had a BP and it was infinite craft, so it should be pretty easy. Bruh. What the fuck? Dude. I then did a fat ass berry run on Gen 2, and unfortunately, a guy got in the crossfires after I finished. Yeah. Can't see shit. There we go. No legs dead. Nice rhino. I then found another Giga over on center. It was a 150 male, which was perfect because that's what I needed to complete my breeding pair. So I'd start pumping out Gigas day one. Oh my god, 240. Come on. Come on. 200 plus. Yes! Take that any day. Alright boys, so that is where I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys did enjoy, and if you didn't make it this far, please hit me with a like and a subscribe as it really helps support these videos. I'm trying my best for you guys, and I'm trying to improve these videos every day. Each one I'm trying to make better than the last, and I'll see you guys in the next one. In a world where alliances shape the battlefield and teamwork often spells victory, one lone warrior dares to defy the odds. Today, the arena is set for an epic showdown as I venture into the heart of enemy territory, pitted against not one, but two formidable players. The stakes are high, the tension palpable, and every move could be the difference between triumph and defeat. Join me as I attempt to tackle this challenge, where every shadow hides a threat and every decision could mean the difference between glory and ruin. For this wipe, I decided to do something different, and I went for a highly contested cave known as Lost Island Crouch. It was definitely a challenge for me to try to get this cave as I was a solo, as you heard in the intro, and this was a duo server, meaning everyone else had at least one other tribe mate. Let me move. No, oh, someone else is here already. I got, I got foundations. 
I got foundations. They can't place that crouch. Picked him off. Killed him. No. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. No. We both died, but I got foundations down. All right. No, fuck. All right, it's fine. Now we, now we work on our own shit. Stay. I doubt there's gonna be drops. Oh, the pompo is nice. That's nice. I can kill people with that. Right. I don't want parachutes equipped. After getting a nice and quick start, almost having zero issues with any other people, I set up my little starter base in a small cave over on Lost Island near Lost Island Crouch. Little did I know that this cave had a fatal flaw, which you will find out about later in the video. God damn it. I then went to go check on Crouch, and this happened. Are you not dead? Isn't it nerfed? Oh, there you go. Oh my god, this is Derry. Register. Register. Why is there just a dude on a theory, bruh? Right after that small loss, I went over and found a little base and decided to raid it. It's... Wait, hold on. Or all the turrets? W. W. Ow. Less W. Oh shit. Crossbow easy. Mm, fat. For my next attempt at crouch, I decided to try a racer as I had a saddle BP. Oh, it's out. How much HP are you at? Nice. <laughs> W. It was now time for me to try and fob up on these guys while they were online. I'm gonna put the fob outside of 6x. Oh, there's a Maywing. Huh? What are you doing? Cool. They have a transmitter in there.
Please don't get stuck. Oh, that's not good. Fuck, dude. Hey, you're not getting away, buddy. Okay, so we got away. So we got a... Oh, I'm gonna say the word. I'm gonna say the word. Who the fuck is this guy? They have a gas bags? Oh, it just insta died. How is he just insta breaking it? He's dead. How did he grapple it? I'm fucking him, bro. How are you not getting shot? They're soaked. Killed one. How are you alive? Got him. Killed all of them. Oh, hello. A nice one, buddy. Do you have parachutes? No, you don't. That again. Oh, they brought out nets. That shit's dead because it just flew into the cave with the spinal. After failing that raid but getting a ton of good kits out of it, I was feeling a little depressed, so I decided to go do a flint run real quick, and this is how it went.
I then was on Lost Island trying to run some drops and I ran into this guy. Find me. There we go. Me pussy. Stop being a fucking whip bob. Can I whip his whip? Is that a thing? Ready? Again, I'll hit it again. That was a big tip. I did it again! Yeah. Fucking pussy. Hell yeah. After that, back to Extinction I went and I did a doe at an RG farm so I could get a fuck ton of electronics and crystal and metal. Oh, someone else blew it up this time. Now this, this was the fatal flaw of this base, and this stream sniper knew about it before I did. Oh wow, bro. And you're bold. Wow, bro. Yeah, you're gay. You're gay, you're on a whole nother level of gay. out of here pussy after that I got all my shit out of there and went over to do the boss fight and uh, don't mind the issue with my camera it will be fixed in the next clip W dead pussy oh fuck this Black boots, 304 Dura, that's not bad. Can I put these on? Yeah. This what I crafted. After that, I had a tech rifle and I said, you know what, I'm gonna be a menace. So I decided to tech rifle down these guys' base while they were doing a raid in the Redwoods cave. Ow, ow, ow. It's all down. Oh my god, it's not all down. Excuse me, you're supposed to... There we go. Go, 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 go. I'm a genius.
Aha, there's their base. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's worth it. I just just. Oh, no. Nah. So I brought. I, okay. This is not great. That's really not good. Let me on, let me on. Let me on. Oh, I knew that was gonna have shit on it. Oh. 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 We're leaving. We're evacuating the premises. I then got into some more PvP and some random ass tunnels in the middle of nowhere on Lost Island. Oh my god, he's right here. So, we walk with your bullets now? What are we, Jesus? I should have bought him. There we go. No, don't pop it. Did you just pop a scorpion? Okay. So we're fat. things right oh my god this ah, 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 ah. all right well that's gonna be where i end this video i hope you guys did enjoy i did just want to get this one video out of this i only played for one day but i had a ton of fun and got into a ton of pvp but anyway i'll see you guys in the next one i hope you enjoy it in this video i take on one of the hardest challenges i ever have in arc I go solo on a four-man cluster. In order to do this, I had a concrete plan. The plan was to build up my starter over on Ab, then go over to center and do the boss fight, raise Reapers, bring them into the Scorch boss fight to get 120 in all tech, and then build a cliff plat base in the radiation zone on Ab. And just before the video begins, I just want to say that my server is wiping Friday, August 16th. It is a duo server with a ton of unique things that no other server has, and I will be playing, and I hope to see you guys there. Let's get into it. After taming up that Maywing, I went over to Fjorder in order to do my farm run that I usually do in every single episode, which you've seen a million times, but this is the best way to start. Oh my god. Oh, come on. I'll, I'll, dude. Literally the turning point. W. Not bad, not bad. After I farmed what I could over on Fjorder, I traveled over to Extinction to do the usual electronics run. This also gives me a lot of scrap metal and oil, which is nice, because the scrap metal has a 1 to 1 smelting ratio and smelts faster than normal metal.
I then traveled over to Ab to do a metal run and put up my starter base as this is where I was going to have my main base as well. The next part of my plan was to trap reapers in order to raise up a couple of them so I could do Scorch Boss as a solo. Don't drop me. That'll be six minutes. Reaper. All right, that's good. That's a good reaper. All right, yeah, these are good. Oh my god. This is the best Reaper I've ever seen. I then went to go try to do another metal run and ended up getting into some more PvP. Dude, this is so gay. Fuck off. Move! Oh my god, I'm so sick of this. Guys, this is skill. Guys, this is skill. Yep. In order for my plan to go smoothly, I needed to tame a Velo in order to do a center boss fight. And while I was over here, I also found some drops and got some decent loot. Dude, I don't care if that's expensive. I mean, it is expensive, but... It was now time for me to do the center boss fight. And unfortunately, this boss fight seemed to not be nerfed at all. But I guess that's because I was on a four-man server. And I'm used to the lower man servers having much more boosted boss fights. But this shit took me forever, bro. I thought I was going to fail it. <gasps> oh... 
Oh. Oh. You're at negative HP. Holy shit. We got this. Come on. Just stay there. Yes. Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god, I did it. Holy shit. I then traveled to Crystal Isles to farm some more shit like silica pearls and oil. After that, I went and did Scorched Boss as quickly as I could, and I did this with my Reapers and a Theory that I tamed. In order for this to work out, I needed to try to trap it because I was worried about losing time as well. This is the easiest Manticore I've ever done. I am never doing Manticore normally ever again. Dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with how easy that just was? After doing that boss fight, I decided to go and see if I could do any OSDs. And the reason I'm doing a blue is because I wanted to test if anyone would come to counter me if I were to be doing a red. And you'll see what happens. What was that guy doing? Got a rhino. Are you ready for this? This guy's pushing me. Yeah, but they have a light pad. And he's dead. What are these guys doing? Nice one. Cap spinal saddle. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'd be fucked. After getting to some PvP on Extinction, I decided to leave and go to Ab, where my main base was, and I decided to farm some Ellie by killing Reaper Queens as they dropped 20 Ellie. Oh 
I took a break from farming Ellie and decided to go check on one of my neighbors who was the app surface entrance, which was a cave edit. Kill them, kill them, kill them. Huge. Oh my god, I got TP. After farming that Ellie and killing that guy, I decided to move my base. This is a spot I found in single player. It's a pretty sick ceiling spot that reminded me of Skylight over on Extinction. After moving base, I went to Scorched Earth to see if the Ellie from the boss fight that I'd hidden in a Reaper was still there and ended up getting into a ton of PvP with a full tribe. Time to run. Ugh. One. The last one go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Go, go, go. Oh no. Where 
to go. No way. Too many That's right, I need more. No chest? God damn it. God damn it, bro. Mm. Fuck this guy go. Oh, well, that was entertaining. They all got shit on, and I'm in a fat suit. They fucking killed it. After shitting on that team over on Scorched Earth, there was a vault event over on Rag, which is basically where there's a ton of vaults with loot in them, and if you blew one up, you would get a ton of loot. But there was a ton of people here, and it was really laggy, so let's see how this goes. This is horrible, dude. There's so many people here. And I'm bullied. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Dude, like, I'm gonna get focused as fuck. Thanks for five try. I don't even have bowls anymore, bro. I'm fucking stuck. If I just got bowl there, holy shit, I would have raged. The whole tech suiting shit on here is so gay as well.
That was my vault, bitch. Rockets, bro? And <laughs> I'm bullet. <laughs> The lag is literally saving my ass right now. No way. There's no way that just got stolen from me. I got bowled three times, bro. Why me? I have no more boots left. Yeah, I'm done. After dying, I was scouting over on Fjorder and ended up running into this bozo. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, go ultra defensive when you've got an equalizer. Oh, I don't understand what was that. Get an equalizer and go ultra defensive against against an attacking team, bro. Are you locked in? Yeah. Are you playing career mode? Seasons. Yeah. That didn't pull him. What the fucking shit? Come here, bitch. Someone said that they can't transfer. Yeah, Their just... characters are glitched. Possibly. That happens sometimes. They have to reload and it goes retarded. I just full regged him and he's not dead? He's, he's built different, mate. Got the... Uh... Anti killable. A hey, shadow. He had high yeah, legs on. Oh my god, he pulled out a rocket launcher. Cooking, huh? Freaking cooker, indie cooker. Indie yes. cooker? No, I was never told to bring thing? one. No, I was asking, where is it? Oh, I can we go for the electronics. Get shocking no, train, no. pussy. I'm trying to make mind anymore? wipes. Oh my god, you're um, fat. I'm looking. Um, I'm looking in the water. I don't see anything. Though. Yeah, I already. I looked around there. I don't know. I then decided to tame up some trikes as I had no soaking dinos. Oh my god. This is gonna be really bad. Three point three, Jesus. And yeah, boys, unfortunately, that's where I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And once again, I just wanted to thank you all for the amount of support I had on last video. Um, unfortunately, I did end up getting wiped in this base spot. Solo is hard, bro. It's especially a 1v4. And I'm a busy guy, bro. I have a long, like, eight-hour offline timer, so it's hard. And honestly, I don't know how I got wiped because I was in a 1x spot in a cliff plat base with a force field day one. So... Yeah, I don't know, bro. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.